So ladies and gentlemen, we're going into policy. We have three policies to, uh, to go over this evening. Uh, policy 626, um, federal fiscal uh, compliance. Rob. Okay, uh, we have three policies, as Bucky said, on tonight's agenda. Uh, policy 626 is a compliance uh, with federal programming. Uh, basically, what we did is we made um, some modifications to our procurement attachments to this policy. Um, and it is updated to include the most recent procurement amounts and procedures that the federal government requires um, when we're spending federal dollars on things. Uh, so basically, that's what that is. Uh, this is purely regulatory in its nature. Basically, we don't have a choice, um, and we also need to have it in policy. Uh, policy 626 and 872, uh, we are asking the board to put it, or actually all three of the policies tonight, we're asking the board to put on second reading just because they're a little more time sensitive, um, and it takes about a month and a half to, to do it, and we really need to get them updated by the beginning of May. Uh, so policy 626 deals with procurement. Any questions on that? It's basically bid thresholds, when we have to put things out to bid, when it's sealed bid, things like that. Okay, policy 707, use of school facilities. Probably want to do 872 first, Bucky. Conflict of interest. Wait. Oh, okay, I had that in the order. Okay, 827, conflict of interest. Okay, uh, conflict of interest policy uh, was modified slightly. Uh, it basically is so that we're in compliance with current federal guidelines. And it basically says that uh, the modification says that we will report in writing to an agency that we get funds from if there's a conflict of interest. Uh, so, for example, if we are spending some of our money and a board member is the president of that company, uh, we would then we would not let them know in writing that we're spending the money on that thing. Again, that's not something Daniel Boone's doing. It's just something the federal government wants us to put in policy. So, just another regulatory. It's purely regulatory in nature. Okay. So back to uh, 707, use of school facilities. Okay, use of school facilities. This comes up every couple months uh, because of COVID and things keep changing. Uh, for consideration for the board, uh, I, if you look at this policy and given the fact things are starting to open, um, also given the fact that the cleaning requirements that the CDC has recently put out aren't nearly as stringent as they were before, I'd like the board to consider opening up our facilities to category two in, on our sheet, if you would see that. Basically, it, it is local organizations plus groups, local organizations that are doing fundraising, things like that. We'll have more access to our facilities. We still won't have it open to like outside groups, say some outside baseball team wants to run a tournament with 30 teams from outside the community. But what it does do is it opens up our facilities more to our community and more to different uses within our community. So that, that's one thing I would at least like the board to consider. The other piece is just being very practical and it's also consistent with the recent reopening guidelines of the governor. We have uh, various groups that are using our facilities, uh, whether you know or not, they're quite actively used, and our gymnasiums. Basically, what we want to do is allow parents to enter the gym, provided they follow all the governor's guidelines, things like that. I think, that, I think that's reasonable, given what's being put out there right now by the governor. Um, so, for example, if AC Amity is using the basketball in one of the gymnasiums, and the under-8s are out there practicing, the parents can come in and see their uh, kids play and practice. Um, that's something I probably want to put in there just to open it up a little bit more. Okay. Those okay. are the three policies that uh, I have interest in modifying tonight. Okay, and then and then tonight's at the at the meeting itself, we're going to go over the second readings again, or yeah, we'll, just vote on it. Yeah, normally we put them on. We, we go first reading, second reading, but it takes about a month and a half, and we'd like to try to get these done by the beginning of May. So we're just putting them in um, second reading. They're relatively benign, so right. um, that's why they're all now right. Well, we're not voting on that tonight anyway. I guess no, it'll just be so right. We'll have time to look over uh, by the uh, voting. Okay, so that was the quickest one we've ever had. I think that concludes our meeting. Thank you, Rob. Thank you. Oh, I guess I should have done a roll call, right? <laughs> After the fact here. Do I need to do one, Julia?
Okay, all right, we're done. Thank you.